Today on Tactical Blue Podcast, I'm going to take you to Camry's Relentless Battle Fundraiser Barbecue. I'm going to show you everything that happened plus the interviews. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Tactical Blue Podcast. This is your host, Hector Solis. I'm glad that you're back and I'm glad that you are enjoying this podcast. Anything you want to know, anything you want to learn from police is going to be right here. So let me talk about Cameron's Relentless Battle. And I was there and I was honored yesterday to be invited to this event. And you're probably wondering what's going on and who is this uh, uh, little girl. So let me let me give you a little background on what's going on with her. Cameron is a nine-year-old daughter of one of the uh, sergeants at the Pflugerville Police Department. And she unfortunately has a disease that at the moment she is battling. So we are doing everything we can to find a bone marrow donor for her to survive. So it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of medical expenses as well as uh, emotional um, battles that she and her family has to go through. So as you know, uh, you as a police officer, you have enough on your plate already, you know, going to work, trying to fix people's problem. Plus now this uh, sergeant has this problem with his little daughter, nine-year-old Camry. So let me explain to you a little bit of her background and her disease. So what is uh, Cameron battling? This disease is called aplastic anemia, and what it is is the body stops producing new blood cells, which causes you to start getting fatigue as well as getting new diseases because your immune system is really weak. So definitely we do not want this for uh, Cameron. This is a rare condition which can develop at any time, any age. Unfortunately, she is one of the few around the country who uh, got this disease and definitely we need to do everything we can to find a bone marrow donor. As at the moment, the only treatment to cure this disease is to get more uh, bone marrow transfusions. And the only way to do it is to find the exact match for her. And it's not easy to find one. And that's why I'm making this video, because we need your help. So as a big family, the Blue family, you know that anything that happened to one person, it happened to all of us. So the Pflugerville Police Department here in Central Texas, which uh, Sergeant Anderson is a member of, they decided to throw out a fundraiser for Cameron and do all kinds of fun stuff. So I was able to go there and we're going to check it out. We're going to see everything that happened, including all the blood donation that was there, uh, interviews with different people, and as well as uh, the barbecue itself. So let's check it out.
doing here today? So we got a benefit going on for the little Miss Cameron. Uh, she's been diagnosed with aplastic anemia. She's gonna need a um, a um, bone marrow transplant. So we're uh, we're raising funds out here. We've already sold about about a thousand plates, um, which is probably gonna cap it off about twelve hundred, and looks like we're gonna get there. Uh, we've got uh, raffles going on, uh, car shows, uh, motorcycle shows. You know anything that we can do to, to raise money and uh, you know help the family out because they're you know they're it's a time of need. The whole town just come together. We've got uh, people from from Houston that brought a pit, um, Tin Roof Barbecue brought a large pit down here, so we were able to cook all these meats all at one time. Um, you know, people are from Dallas have sent money, I and mean, it's just uh, the, all the local restaurants um, have, have donated sides and desserts. You know, the whole community's come together, so it's, it's really neat to, it's to see that. It's amazing. Yeah, it's so, how cool. do you feel about the, the whole the whole thing? Everybody showing up and uh, it's so cool. Supporting. You know, we were we were worried about it. Um, honestly, I think we'd had 200 something tickets pre-sold. Uh, we were hoping to get to 500. Uh, it looked like the weather was gonna was gonna hurt us, and uh, you know the last count, like I said, was we we're right at a thousand, and, and it's growing. So um, everything just came together, you know, the mother yes. nature, everything just kind of worked out. I think awesome. the bottom's about to fall out of the sky here pretty soon, right? right? But it looks like we're gonna make it a, a good, successful event before that happens. <laughs> daughter um, is, is a little ill and we're here to help raise money to keep her fighting the strong fight and uh, to help out his family in their time of need. Awesome, awesome. How do you feel about uh, being here and supporting? Oh, it's great. It, all the people that turned out today, even given the weather the way it is, uh, it's a great turnout. We sold out of all our barbecue plates and um, just organizing this for her and seeing everybody comes together is, is a great feeling for everyone. Okay, so uh, she's looking at you right now. What do you want to tell her? Sweetheart, just stay strong. We're all here for you. If you ever need anything, we got your back 100%. As you can see, there was music, good food, plenty of happiness, as well as clowns. And these clowns have a message for Cameron. Let's listen up. How do you feel about doing this? Oh, this is great. I'm with the kids here. All right. But think of the whole world over here. That's right. That's right. That's for her. Black handle, huh? So, so she's gonna be watching you. What do you want to tell to her? What do you want to say to her? Oh, well, we're having more fun than I bet you are right now. But if we get more clowns here, we'll have even more fun. Good stuff. And we miss you. And we miss you. Wish you could be here. All right. Get your transplant and get healthy so you can join us. Fantastic. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I was walking around and I observed different members of law enforcement agencies enjoying their meal as well as families. This is great. I also interviewed different members of the staff and let's check it out. Alright, so what's your name, ma'am? I'm Donna Merchant. Alright, so what, what, are we do, what are we doing here? Why are we doing here? This is for Cameron's Relentless Battle. Um, her father, which is a sergeant with the Red Police Department, um, and her family are undergoing plastic anemia and they're in the Houston area It's 
I mentioned before, different agencies arrived to the aid of Sergeant Anderson, and I was able to speak with Chief Leonard Cantu from the Mustang Ridge Police Department. Uh, my name is Leonard Cantu. I'm the uh, Chief of Police, Mustang Ridge Police Department. Okay, where are we doing here? Uh, so we're all getting together for this fundraiser for uh, for Cameron. Uh, her father is a uh, sergeant with Louisville Police Department. And we're just going to all raise the money, raising money, uh, donating uh, blood, getting tested for, uh, I think, for uh, bone marrow. So we're just all kind of, uh, Jessica Robledo, who's the chief of police out here in uh, Louisville, she reached out to all the local, local departments. So we're just, uh, we're just out here in support of doing that. Okay, what do you want to tell Cameron? She's looking at you right now. Cameron, we just want to say that we're all here for you, uh, for you and your family. Uh, we met your dad, Robert, and uh, we just want to you know, wish you well. If you ever need anything, we're here for you, the city of Mustang Ridge. And uh, just keep on fighting, don't give up. Just keep on fighting, we're all, we're all praying for you. While walking around, we encountered this show. These little girls were entertaining everybody outside the Pflugerville Stadium. So let's check it out. Yes, Travis County Sheriff's Office member and Cameron's biological father. Let's listen and see what he has to say. Name, sir? Robert Escobedo. All right, why are we here for? Uh, my daughter, she's, she has uh, aplastic anemia, and we're here to try to find a find a match, a fundraiser uh, over here at uh, at the field by uh, Fluidville High School, and uh, you know, trying to trying to raise funds for the, uh, for the cost, medical costs. Uh, things of that sort, uh, medications and things of that sort to try to get my daughter the treatment that she needs. Um, you know, we got, like I said, we got the, the blood drive going on, um, and we got also the uh, members of uh, the staff of Be the Match to see if uh, folks want to be a donor, a possible match for my daughter for a bone marrow transplant. Because that's the ultimate, uh, the ultimate cure for this is aplastic anemia is the bone marrow transplant. How do you feel about everybody that show up here to support? And I, I, words can't express how, how much this means to, to me and my family, my daughter. Uh, it's just the, the, out, the outpour of, of, of community that, that, that's coming out here supporting my daughter and, you know, and, and, and trying to trying to give her the cure that she needs. It's just it's words can't express it. All right. And then there's going to be a lot of law enforcement officers throughout the nation uh, you know, watching this video. What do you want to tell them? So, uh, Thanks. You know, there's a lot. There's a lot of uh, law enforcement that's here as well. You know, I work with Travis County Sheriff's Office as well. Um, you know, and, and you know, us, us uh, brothers in blue, we have to stick together. And I, you know, I thank everybody that should come out today. And you know, thanks for thanks for the support. That's right, Robert. We, as law enforcement and brothers and sisters in blue, we need to stick together. But it's important to know how to help, and this is how you can help. So, what is this uh, event about? Uh, well, this event is about to support the family of Kevin. And we can support in many different ways. The one uh, help that we are requesting in this, in this area is for the bone marrow, be the man. So, here we are asking people if they would like to register to be a bone marrow donor. So, the only thing that they need to do is very easy. They come with us. They scan this, they go to the web page and they answer a couple of questions. And you know, if they are eligible, they will be registered for to be a donor or a donor. And uh, 
but the basics or the requirements, the basic requirements is to be 18 years old to 44 years old. And that's it. Okay, and what cost. is what is the cost of this? Uh... Oh, this is free. Once you go online and fill out all the information, you will get an email with the registration. And in two weeks, you will get a kit for you to do the swap. So you can send it back. And we're going to keep all that information, your DNA, and all that information to see if you will be the match for the little girl. <laughs> there you have it. Go to be the match.org, the National Marrow Donor Program. Order your kit. Within a couple of weeks, you're going to receive the kit which you're going to be able to swap your saliva, return it, and see if you're going to be a match for Cameron or any other people who need bone marrow. Again, go to bethematch.org. Thank you for being here. I appreciate all the time and effort that you put out there to keep us safe. I want to thank the sponsors who were able to donate their time and goods and services. Their Brotherton's Black Iron Barbecue in Pflugerville, Texas, the Pflugerville Police Department, the Law Enforcement Association of Pflugerville, as well as We Are the Blood, which brought a bus for people to donate blood. Also, Taco House in Pflugerville, and the Pflugerville ISD, who donated their stadium for the event to happen. Thank you for being here. I hope you have enjoyed this program, and I'll see you next week.